Father Naura Samor was born in Syria in Aleppo. For years he helped refugees from Iraq, but he never imagined that one day he would also have to help refugees from his own country. It's a situation that began seven years ago. The end is still unknown. I would say in Syria today, it's the common word, it's uncertainty. Although the situation in terms of security is better, much better. Uh, Roads are secured, the uh, cities, the biggest cities are secured, etc. But still, uncertainty. We don't know, we don't know, but we hope peace. Today he runs a Jesuit refugee service in Syria and Iraq. Until recently, their main task was to deal with emergencies. However, now they are promoting projects to rebuild the region and be able to start again. You know, uh, all wars, it's difficult. I mean, nobody would uh, tell, for example, after the second war here in Europe, that Europe would have a future. Now, Europe, look at Europe. I mean, you are united, no clashes, no difference, no problem. Uh, so we hope that for Syria, we hope having always one Syria, united Syria, not divided, inclusive for everybody, Muslims, Christians, Muslim different communities, Christians different communities, different uh, cultures, different ethnies, etc., etc. We hope that, yes. He says that more than helping, he has felt assisted by the gestures of the people he has come across over the years. One example is a family met who over a period of four days distributed clothes to 1,500 children. The fourth day, there was a lady with two kids. We gave the clothes, the kid to the kids, and it's finished. The very next day, we received the visit of that lady with the kids with the new clothes and the father of the family. They came over with a cake to offer to our staff. And so out of 1,000 families almost, only that lady, that family, they came over to say thank you for our organization, Catholic organization. It was a Muslim family. He dreams that the war in his country will soon be over. He also says that there will be neither a winner nor a loser, because at this point everyone has already lost.